Oh, where are you? Ahoy, arr, matey. Welcome to the dark table, where the land is large and the police are small. Hello, Mary. Ah. Yeah. Well, not all of them are small. I've seen some that have made several trips to the donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell because they got a donut around uh, the That's what you say. <laughs> Hey, uh, well, so I'll tell you what. Hey, I understand the whole spare tire thing because no. I do not have a spare tire. Oh. I have six-pack six pack abs. Uh -huh. They're just wrapped inside of a soft cider cooler. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. a lot, Grim, for giving us this place to come and play on the radio, have some fun. We call this yeah. the Dork Table, and it is the 12th of September, 2020. And I think... Miss Mary likes to do the hellos way more than I do. I just like to interrupt them. Oh, yeah, you do. And you do such a wonderful job of it as you're, well. You're very welcome. We have, right up top, Mr. Barman, the most wonderful spot in the whole wide world. And, yes, Grimmy, thank you very, very, very much. Oh, happy welcome to Earth Day. It's, oh, Earth Day's tomorrow. Sweet. Is it? I thought... Earth's birthday. Oh, Gosh, it's birthday. and I didn't get her anything. Guess I'll just go out and play in the garden for Earth you, Day. Hey, you could always cop a squat and pee in California. You're bound to make somebody smile. No, because no. then I would wind up doing an impersonation of Betty Crocker and burn my Burn buns. your buns. So I don't think I'll go there. Uh, uh, I also uh, uh, see Grimner, the Grimner. RLM. Grimner! Oh, don't <laughs> you know? As well as the lovely Moose Goyle. Moose and girl. they had... Oh, yeah, that's right. Earth Day is in April, Moosey. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary's been like, smoking, I think. <laughs> no, I have not been smoking, but I am most definitely the dweeb. Ha okay, the dweeb. Ha <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's just all there is to it. I got to get the. No, the Rob, that, that's next, next week. 22nd. Yeah. Double two, double two. In any case. Grimmy and Moose do the Freakers Ball on Friday night. That's right. And I rarely stay stay up for it because I'm like a sleepyhead. Yeah. And last night I was in. I was actually asleep before ten thirty. Oh wow! I know that was just so. <laughs> you overachiever! I, mean. I swear. <laughs> anyway. I know. Damn. It's like, holy carp, Batman. Yeah, but in the in your working world, they're on late at night. You know. Yes. If you have a yes, day behind you, then that is late. But if you're like me, it's just like <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> well, yeah. Because I live well, in your future. You figure it out. I've been trying sure. to. Yeah. So time is very fluid. I think there time you know. is very bullshit, but that's just my opinion. It's <clears throat> liquid. It Miss K. Oh. It flows. That's right. I got Get me back flow. on track. Hello, Miss Kate down Miss, in Florida. Miss Kate and in Florida. Florida. Thank you for yeah. the absolutely awesome video that you sent me the message for. And since I had to reboot, hmm. shit. Oh nope, it's still there. Hmm. Yay, because I didn't close it down. I wanted, I wanted to have my honey bunny see it. Hmm. In any case, I also see Anti with the tail. Anti's got that prehensile tail going on again. That way he can reach around and smack somebody if he wants to with his tail and go, what? Oh, I didn't do it. Yeah. I also see Asmodeus Asmo oh. here, <clears throat> as well as Chalsa Denis, no, who Chalsa got the O oh, out no. there, and Circle picked it up. Hello, and put it on honey. Guy. How you doing? Oh, to da, do da, the Cycolo thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking and of Circolo, she's also, Grim gets around with these women. He. Grim's doing I know, a, he's got multiple women. Yeah, them, he's he? doing a show with my wife on Mondays, too. On Monday, yeah, yeah. and I didn't catch this week. So I've, ugh, it's, it's been it's still a week. A, it's worth a listen. They're, they're, they complement each other in a unique way, I think. Well, they yeah. both have very interesting perspectives on life, and so <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. Well, everybody and has I, an it's interest. It's enjoyable. I enjoy the hell out of it. Well, at least the first one I listened yeah. to, it was like, oh, this is yeah. really cool. These two these two work well together. Yeah, that's what I so, thought. Yeah. Kind of like peas and carrots. <laughs> yeah, kind of like Flash and Graham Z, because we get along oh. fine on the radio as well. Hmm. Well, yeah, we get along fine on the radio, but I don't know that we're quite up to peas and carrots character. Mm. 
I oh. I think we're more like ham and beans. Oh. You know? Oh. The more you listen oh. or the more you take in, the gassier oh. you get. Oh. The squash <laughs> and strawberries. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Ooh, <sighs> strawberries and whipped cream. Why, look Ooh. who's next on the list. Oh, my f- number one next? fan. Chloe! Chloe! It's Chloe! I also see the lovely Miss Van Meter is Van here, Meter. as well as Flash somebody. Hello, me. How are you? Hello, me. Yes. I also see Frumpy Voice. can an editor. Yours truly. Graham I'm, Z. I'm the gaseous no. one, by the way. He's the ham. He's I'm from, the bean. But he's from King <laughs> Canada. Oh, I'm the ham and you're I the bean. I tell everybody it's my effervescent personality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that too. I also see Java, 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 Java Dr. Dr. Two is two. in the house, as oh. well as Jared. Is, is that Hansel? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, it's Hansel. <laughs> that just came over me like a wave. I don't know what happened. Oh, I lost it's my mind for a fucking minute. That it. It's that I get this visual of a German guy in a fucking German guy suit with the big high boots, walking all <laughs> stiff legged and putting his arm up. That just cracks me the fuck up. And see, I think you see that and I listen. <laughs> Wait, you were in what? 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 Lederhosen. You oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Well, yeah, but you're into kilts and shit, too. So you're just a... Yeah, well, you, you just know, like to... Um, I'm going to have to talk have... to Wayne about your perspective on emasculation, little missy. <laughs> I like knees. Kilts. And, oh, <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> there you go. I also see JJ's J- 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 speaking of kilts. In the kilts. That's right. And Meister Brower is also Woody here. Woody well in Prince. Arizona. Oh, yeah. Prince and Prince, the one in Prince. We got a Rob Boyd here. Bubbler. Too. The bubbler. The bubbler man. See, he's mm. just as, he's not quite as bubbly as me, but. You know, work on it. Rob. Oh yeah, he's just—he's just like a fucking fountain. He's so bubbly. You just don't know Rob yet. Stick around twenty years, and you'll get it. <laughs> ah, twenty years. Okay. I think I it would like probably that. take that long to catch him. Yeah, getting bubbly. Yeah, probably. He's just not hmm. a bubbly guy. I, maybe once every twenty years or something. Oh, oh, okay. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, an asteroid that comes around just once every 20 yeah, years. Yeah, it's like me being right about a political thought I have. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow, look at yeah, the chatters. Anyway, oh. where were we? Yeah, Grim says he's the bubbly motherfucker. Thrust okay. no one. Yeah, that untrusty feller. And I think Trust had a birthday the other day, and, and I just kind of, yeah, I saw something. Yesterday, and then I think yeah. Oh, was it yesterday? Yeah, oh, yeah. happy belated yeah. anniversary of the day you grace the world with your presence, trusty un- no one feller you. But not yeah, necessarily actually. your bubbles. Yeah, not necessarily the bubbles. I also see the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turning hot of the RLS channel. Closely followed by Weather Dork, who is always trying to blow hot air up her skirt, as opposed to smoke. Because smoke goes through those things. Ah. Phantom. We got the, the Phantom. Phantom. Oh, no, no. It's, it's the Phantom. Phantom. And a CC-66. Uh, yeah. Hey, take that? a that's breath there, lady. Calm down. As well as the Cyborgian Cy- noodle may be touched by the Cyborgian noodliness uh, of it all. Hey, Mental. How the hell are you? Hey, Mental. See, Mental mm. is not nearly as touched as I am because he's got cakes to go along with his <laughs> Yeah. In any case, I see it and Sim in here Sim. as well. And a hey, we got more Canadians. Grim, you're Jim. being invaded by the Canadians. I warn you now. They're coming south in pairs. Ooh, ooh. Yep. Where's Noah? Where's the army? Know. What's a cubit? Moving along. Hi, Kiss. <laughs> Hi, Kiss. Yeah. yeah. And I also see a Matt WJ Matt 2002, Mr. Snick, Snack, Caddy, Whack, Give Mr. a Dog a Bone. Mr. Snick, you know that word snatch that I saw yeah. Mr. Michael use earlier, see. Um, which yeah. is gone now but oh, yeah. because I got booted. Yeah. But in any case, yeah. 
when I was a child, mm. I heard that word a lot, mm. but it was not referring to any part of the anatomy. It's like, did you just snatch a cookie? Because that's what snatch meant when we was kids. Yeah. You know, the language has a way of morphing and not necessarily in a good way. Yeah. But, yeah, I snatched huh. a cookie. Well, you know, or remember the kid I was telling you about that would just say the damnedest shit? Okay. Yeah. It was, I was living in North Carolina. Anyway, this one kid, she says she's talking about her uh, her vagina. And then she says, well, because my mom won't let me say cooter. <laughs> so she still said it. <laughs> By you know, announcing to everybody, well, I'm not allowed to say this, but I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> well, you know, because you got to know what she's not allowed to say. Twelve-year-olds are just bad. They're the funniest fucking people. And they don't know oh, it yet. God. They have no clue. Oh, yes. Anyway. Yeah, my grandchildren. You know, I, <laughs> we were, yeah. I was hanging out in the park with them, and we were telling jokes while Mom was over doing her exercise thing, which I got tired just watching her. But... You know, we're hanging out in the park, and they're climbing trees and stuff, and we're telling each other stupid jokes. And my grandson, who was 12 at the time, told me a somewhat un- off-colored joke, and I looked at him, and I went, where'd you hear that? <laughs> <That's cool." Yeah. laughs> and I'm like, See? holy crap, at 12, I didn't know that kind of stuff. Damn. Wow. We're- and oh, yeah, they were laughing were at me, and I was yeah. laughing at them, and I was still going, Damn. 12-year-olds telling those kind of jokes. Holy sh- and I can't remember the joke to save my ass because, you know, the memory is going because I've been hanging with my mom, and it's contagious. You know, there is a there is a subtle difference between telling a joke and understanding the joke as well. Because when I was 12, I still had a few minutes of stupid still left from being little. And I misunderstood yeah. a few words when, well, 12, it's kind of a pivotal age for for me, I don't know where, where it went with other people, but it was like well, that 12, crossover line. Yeah, 12 yeah. is that you're in the double digits, but you ain't a teen yet kind of place. You're a, yep. you're a tween. You're somewhere yeah. in that. And that. I was really, I was a lot smaller then than I am now. And I'm still, you know what I am? I'm small. <laughs> small? So it was a lot harder to, to at first convince people I wasn't 12. Once I started talking a little bit, then they okay. Well, you seem a little young, though. <laughs> you didn't have your beard yet. Oh fuck no! I didn't even have a beard until I was thirty something. Holy smokes! Well, how'd you pull off the whole gnome thing then? I didn't. Oh, that was you saved that for Denmark. Apparently, right? well, Sir, yeah, Sir's kind of gnomey. She likes gnomes and such. <laughs> oh wait, we we left off. Where were we? Yeah, we found this. Pop a pop a pop a As well as smart ass. <laughs> Whoa, chop chop. The holiest Roger ever. Wow. Ami 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 ami. Ooh. And to round out the crew, the yeah. one and the only Z picks. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I got them all out. Okay. And Ooh, I released the evil spirits. Now it's time to play. And I appropriately titled our epic saga of the week. Are we there yet? <laughs> I did. I gotta go. But I really got. I gotta go now. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. That. And usually the response to that comment was, "Why didn't you go before we left?" Mm. I did. Mm. But I gotta mm. go again. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, so for the last almost a fucking year, uh-huh. <laughs> cough, cough, I have been preoccupied in the outside life and on the internet webs, hey, thanks, sir, by masks and needles, the threat of needles, okay? Uh-huh. And in some places, this is being taken way further than in other places, And what I don't understand about the whole fucking nightmare that we've been dealing with here, if this thing is so deadly and lethal, why do they have to force you to test for it? You should be begging them to to test. I'm sick. Help, help. Fix me. We don't have any of that. None of that. I want to know why we don't have dead homeless just Hmm. filling the streets. Well, that was getting to that. they They aren't observing those. 
wash your hands every five seconds things and the social distancing and the wearing the mask. I mean, yeah, some of them wear those muffler scarf thingies, but and you know, that's just kind of hide some of moving along. Um, but it, if it's so deadly, if it's so bad, if it's so horrid, number one, like you said, how do you have, why do you have to be tested to even find out you have it? Which, by the way, have you seen like the little animated thingies that show you how far they stick that freaking Q-tip up your nose? It, they're scratching the back of your brain to check and see. Well, you should, if, if this is a, <laughs> if this is what they're telling you that's this big threat, you should be able to cough. And that should be enough. If they got to dig up your ass for the fucking thing, then what are you wearing a mask for? Well, because because they want everybody to wear a mask because the mask is symbolic for a muzzle. And I actually had someone tell me that I was living in fear because I refused to wear a mask. And I said, please explain to me how my refusing to wear a mask means I'm living in fear. Because last I checked, I thought... Mm. I wear a mask when I mow, and and it's exceptionally dusty to keep all the dust particles out of my airway. And I wear a mask when um, I'm painting, and I don't wish to have, you know, aerosolized paint getting in my airway. Although it probably would be kind of cool to have neon pink or, you know, some other rainbow color in the lungs or at least on the nose hairs. But... You know, it'd be kind of cool. You'd go up to people and show them your nose and go, look, I've been painting today. And, and they'd be going, ew, neon boogie. But, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but other than neon that, I don't, I don't wear a mask. I'm not a surgeon. I don't like the sight of blood. Mm. So, you know, I don't need a mask. And another thing that people always tell me, well, surgeons wear them all the time. Surgeons do not wear them 24-7. Well, I'm still yeah, stuck no. on, here we are, it's September. Okay, it's way after, I mean, this started before the year, and here we are. And still, everybody that started out in the RLM when the pandemic originally got exposed to us is still alive. Even the sissies that want to make everybody else wear a fucking mask and all this other shit, they're still alive. And they're claiming it's because they're wearing a mask and shit. They don't really... See, they're, they're pigeonholed into a corner they can't get out of. They're stuck defending their own bullshit. Well, and they have no idea when they're going to be allowed <coughs> Excuse me, to take mm. their mask off. You, you know, and I've decided I'm going to start calling this the wimpy flu. Ooh. Now, those of you that don't remember the Popeye cartoons are not going to get the reference. <laughs> but I will gladly pay you Tuesday, Tuesday. for a hamburger today. today. Uh, you can go, 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 take your mask off in 30 days. Oh, it's still 30 days. Today! It's still <laughs> 30 days. Oh, Wait, man. it's been 30 days. No, I said in 30 days from today. <laughs> yeah, it's every day. That's what it is. Eternity. It's a freaking windy flu. Well, it's working on the population. Well, it's you know what it's working on is the politicians. I seen a vote today in uh, Australia, 21 to 18, to continue this lockdown shit for six more months. You know, it's not working on the politicians. The politicians have figured out how to work it. Well, you so call it what you want. Because now it's yeah. a revenue okay. generator. Because, like, down where my mom lived, yeah. you know, the, the whole mask mandate was supposed to go away on mm. the 15th of this month. Mm. And so... Um, now, in this last couple of weeks, the Popo and the city council have decided that we're going to up the ante a little bit. Because there's some restaurants, you know, a couple of them that I've gone to, that if you hold the mask up towards your face as you're walking in the door, then as soon as you get in the door, you can just put it back in your pocket. You know, because they're, they're at least, you know, saying, oh, well, you at least got to hold it up close to your face. So... You know, when I went into a restaurant with my brother, I had it hanging off my ear. <laughs> like, that's as close as you're going to get it, folks. That's mm-hmm. it. I've got a... Uh, it was like earrings. I've got an but, American uh, flag bandana I could use. See, there you go. But And now anyway. they've got these way cool, like, muffler things. <laughs> yeah, way so cool. So it's like, oh, sweet. I don't have to... 
and they're trying to sell them. So it's it's become its own revenue stream. No, it hasn't. But, but the police down where my li- my mom lives now yeah. they're starting to not only find people that that try to go into restaurants with say a mask hanging off their ear like an earring, hmm. but they're also finding the businesses. Hmm. So the patron gets a hundred dollar ticket and the business gets five hundred dollar fine for each person that they allow to come into their business like that so like i said it's a freaking revenue generation okay well yeah okay but then again i got a perverse sense of how i look at finance miss mary that other people do not share so hmm. (sighs) let's battle i know know there's a lot of most people Hmm. do not see your way of looking at finance Mm. because they they are still stuck in the paradigm that this paper money Mm -hmm. actually works for something oh yeah yeah, and you know what so long as they believe it actually works for something then it's real yeah you to work for something yes i agree but But, when the powers that control shit tell you it's no good what are you going to do argue with them Excuse me? It's not no. yours in the first place, but most people do not read uh, the necessary books out there available to understand what money is and what it isn't. And what we've been led to believe is money all our life is just credit. And if you live yeah. on credit, really, who the fuck gives a shit if you ever pay it? I want to go a billion dollars in debt, but Cirque's against it. <laughs> Live large. Come on, we could spend a hundred thousand dollars a day if I was a billionaire. Shit. But you got, you know, you got to give up your soul. (laughs) So it's a hard life. Yeah. Well, you got to take advantage of other people to to become that wealthy. Hmm. Yeah, and that's 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 a the hitch for me. Yeah, I don't. I don't have it. Most now, I'm not gonna say all, Hmm. but most people that achieve. Financial security. Of course, it depends on what you consider financial security as well. But, you know, most people that achieve that level, you know, the at least six zeros hmm. after the initial number, those magic numbers that make everything <laughs> magic, bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. once you get at least six uh, zeros behind yeah. whatever, then it's like, mm. I'm rich. Right, you know, but Mary... We're, People don't know how wild my dreams can get. But we are in a society that is hundreds of trillions of dollars in debt. They all talk about it openly. It's not a fucking secret. All the money they generate, the revenue, just goes to paying the freaking uh, interest rate, and they're behind on that. So they're, yeah, but you know what? You know what? what the really cool thing is about that hundreds of trillions in debt? <laughs> Thing. They can erase it. I don't know what's the cool thing yeah. about it. Yeah, all you got to do is is highlight it and push the delete button, and there it was gone. Yeah, but who? Because that's how they created it. Most of it isn't physical wealth anyway. It's paper wealth. Yeah, well, and it's not even paper anymore. Now it's digital. electronic, right? No, okay. Well, I'm I'm old. Good lord, I'm an old guy. I come from paper and pen. I still write notes like a. Paper well, and pen yeah, guy. I do too. So I do too. But. And when I'm down helping my mom, I have to read notes and then go, "Mom, we did that. Mom, this one's done. Mom, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw away your note sheet. No, don't throw it. Away. Yes, Mom, I'm throwing it away. We've done all of the notes on there. So yeah, <laughs> I, I have I have unlimited zeros, just no other numbers. <laughs> Grimner. <laughs> ah, hey, yeah. there you go, Grim. Well, that's the same thing as the freaking government. They don't have anything. They're hundreds of trillions of dollars in debt. And here we are arguing about, you know, the stupidest of shit when you think about it. People's opinions about things that are uh, a matter of you choosing to do them or not. Then you got shit like this mandatory freaking mask wearing. and that, There's a line to cross there. See, I can see that. You know, I'm not for or against what other people do to each other. I only care what they do to me. I'm selfish. You know, if what you do doesn't bother me, I don't. I don't give a fuck if you do it or not. 
get away with it or you don't, that's on you. But I'm not going to support it if I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in it or tempted by it, whatever the case. Then I just avoid it. Like, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Hansel. <laughs> Hansel. Well, sometimes I uniggy him just to have a giggle, but I always end up blocking him again because it's just ridiculous. Someday I need to grow up, Miss Mary, and become an adult. Just not ready but yet. adulting is hard. I keep hearing that. It makes my head hurt. Oh, the pain. The pain. <sighs> there are times <laughs> when I just want to go. Mm. Oh, okay. But I write in my little notes. So now I've got a statement to make. And then I want you to go on a rant about it. And it's relative to the disagreement everybody's having one way or the other about this stupid movie. But what I've got to say, I wrote it like this. Using kids to make an adult argument is what I see. They're using the children to make an adult argument out of what the children are doing. Instead of, uh, instead of approaching it as a child situation, they're treating it like an adult activity that kids are uh, copying. When it's quite different. It's grown-ups are directing these children to do these things and then they put film together and make you see whatever it is they want you to see. See, and, and to me, right off the bat, it's using kids. Yeah. That's, it, that's where it's like, okay. okay, they are using, and you know why they use children? Because they know that's an attention getter. You know, and and so they can, and even even negative attention is still attention. And so you're still feeding that beast, whether you're giving it positive feedback or negative feedback. You're still feeding the beast because you're giving it your attention. And so using kids, using children, however they are using them, is just a ploy to get that attention directed their direction. Hmm. That's the way I see it, at hmm. least. But, but the, the, the statement was basically clear because sometimes the way I think sounds one way when I think it and then when I speak it or write it it sounds a little different so I wasn't sure if it was going to translate very well because I'm looking at this as an adult and I'm not interested in kids I don't <clears throat> you know unless they're passing me by in the street that's the only time I encounter kids <clears throat> so uh, well it's not Let's see. It's not part of my daily routine to, to interact with other people's children on any level other than hello or a, a word or two, and then that's that. So there's no there's no bond to it to me. I'm just looking at it as, wow, some adults are using kids to make a film to get people fucked up and riled over it on purpose, and it worked. But behind that, why are they doing it? See, and there, there is a part of me that thinks, okay, someone is shining a light on the asininity, if that is a word. Well, it is now because I just made it up. Um, <clears throat> but some, there's, you can always look at it as someone is shining a light on this and how ugly and, dis, and disgusting it makes you feel. And you can also look at it as somebody is exploiting well, right. You can look music. either side. Yeah. And yeah. and then there's Depends all the those fifty shades of gray. <laughs> not the book. Yeah. But there's all those fifty yeah. shades of gray in between it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just no matter how you look at it, whether it's pointing out a wrong, or whether it's taking mm. advantage of. Mm. Right. It's still drawing attention to something, yeah. negative or positive. Yeah. And yeah, you're gonna have some. You're gonna have some out there that are gonna go. Hubba, 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 hubba. Yeah, but that's a small. And those people need to be smacked upside well, the head. Well, they seriously, do. Well, no. What, but, see, that's what I mean. The approach to bring this to the surface is uh, was wrong. The way they did this with kids, I, I'm not for that. I think they should have done it with adults. Then it would have been, you know, a verbal explanation that children could watch and listen to, not uh, not an, a shining example of 
do because kids they mimic each other. Yes, it's well, natural are, to copy yeah. what you fucking see because you're learning yeah. shit. So I just Children think that learn by example. Yes, that under that 11 year old age, they should have just left this fucking thing alone and had grown up steel with it. This was wrong to me. But if you get into that weird shit, it's on Netflix. <laughs> Free. Yeah. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> well, see, there's. And what? I remember Fuck. there being a video or a movie out years back about the little ones in beauty pageants oh, and the yeah. beauty pageant Ooh, moms. Yeah. Ooh. And I think this is just a natural progression hmm. because apparently people didn't learn. You got to look at all and all of these little girls that their moms say, well, you know, she wants to. She wants to do this. You know, she wants to. She enjoys all these trophies and all the little girls, although some, you know, little girls like to play dress up. Little boys like to play dress up, too. Trust me, I've got pictures of all three of my grandkids dressing up in formal attire and wigs and having a good time. You know, so little ones like to play dress up. Yeah. And even yeah. grown-ups like to play dress up. Hence, grown-ups enjoying Halloween. <laughs> in any case, you know, you have all of these little kids that are, that are you know, they got the big old honking beehive bouffant hairdo shit going on and the makeup that would make Tammy Faye Baker envious and these freaking costumes that are all sequins that Liberace would go, wait a minute, they didn't make anything that cute when I was still alive. But still, you know, these moms dress their kids up like that, parade them across the freaking stage and nobody paid attention or if they did... You know, because isn't that what little Honey Boo Boo? I don't know. From I remember something about Little Miss Honey Boo Boo supposedly was in this bullshit. You I know, don't know about Jean, any of that. Jean Benet Ramsey. I remember that. Apparently, name, yeah. one of those little kids. Yeah, I and, remember that one. And it's like, what the hell, moms? You know, and sports dads are just as bad hmm. pushing their children into sports because. Well, I never got a chance to play on the starting team, but by God, my kid's gone on. Ma, 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 ma. Stop living through your children. Let your children be children. Mm -hmm. Let them be innocent for a while. Because the world will step up and, and do all kinds of crap to ruin their innocence anyway. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be somebody out there that's going to steal their bubble gum or steal or knock them over for their lunch money, or whatever the hell. There's always going to be some little douchebag wandering around out there that's going to do something that's going to chip away at their innocence. So let them have it for a little while, instead of pushing them into this this crap, <laughs> so that you can go, look at what my daughter's got, all of these trophies. She doesn't have a life. She's definitely got some kind of issues going on. She's seeing three therapists a week. But look at all the trophies she's got. Yeah. Mm. Calm down. I'd, wow. Yeah, you said you wanted me to go off on a rant. There you go. Mm. I'm go and and I think this cutie thing is just an extension of it. It's just mm -hmm. leveling up a little bit. Mm. Yeah. And people are not going. Listen, okay. Enough is enough. Mm. You damn narciss narcissistic parents, mm. back off and let your kids be kids. So. Well, yeah, there there it. must there still must be like a shitload of homeless people out there that got internet and get Netflix and all this kind of stuff because there's lots of them. This particular yeah. idea, this children thing on uh, movies and whatnot, that's got a targeted market. There's only so many people that's going to even see that in the first place. But yeah, but you know, this, another part of it is you right. know you drum up enough. Publicity, because it's mm. free publicity is mm. basically what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you yeah. drum up enough publicity, and people are going to watch it just out of sheer curiosity to yep. see what all the hubbub is about. See, and I went, no, I don't have the interest to see what, I don't even care, to be honest with you. I just think it's another bad example of uh, how fucked up society has become. That this should even have been an issue in the first place. But it is. 
Yeah. Well, you know, it's like some of the blue laws that you see. Ugh, you know, laws. it's illegal to have sex with a horse. Okay, who is the, who is the person that, um, or it's illegal to to have sex with a dead skunk? I mean, there's some really no a dead cat. Laws I remember the there. dead cat one in California. Yeah, that was a weird and law you go, in California. okay, wait a minute. Yeah, Frank. This, <laughs> this this law is there because somebody actually did this. That was Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and you just want to go, okay, instead of just making a law, letting everybody else know that that's illegal, don't do that. Yeah. You just deal with the the sick fuck oh. that did it in the first place yeah. and don't give them their 15 seconds of fame. Mm. And hopefully yeah. nobody else will come up with the same stupid idea. But no, well, you had to make it illegal. So now you got exactly. a bunch of other sick fucks yeah. out there going, oh, wait. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that? Yeah. I wonder what the big deal is. Think I'm going to have to try it. Because Why? Because some people are just freaking stupid. That's why. Well, I got a question about something that maybe Grim could answer. but Or maybe you might answer. I'm not even sure. But if I was curious enough to open up the show on the Netflix, right, and then watch mm -hmm. two minutes of it and decide, oh, crap, I don't want to finish watching this shit, they still got me clicked on the show as watching it, right? Does it matter yeah. for how long I watch it, or does it just matter that you click on it and show an activity? I don't know, but you know, just curious. I'm not. Real, I think I think clicking on it mm -hmm. gives it, and then once you, you know, it's it's kind of like the telemarketers. Mm -hmm. They can call you, and if you pick up the phone and then hang that, up right that's away, what I meant. yes, it. The Still, computer yeah. acknowledges that you picked up the phone, but if you're yeah. not on there for at least thirty seconds, ah. then then the caller doesn't get paid for the call. Yeah, I would I would suspect that something like uh, Netflix has got it so that if you click it, boom. Because I've done that where I click a movie to see what it's about, and I go, ah, I don't like this, and just kill it, right? Well, that yep. still had to register on somebody's little clicker that I opened their movie to look at it. Or why would their movie even be there? Yeah. So, and why is it uh, even in the frickin' suggested? But, you know... Uh, censorship. I, I think, well, because we have... We're, have see, we're, we're self-censored, in a sense. And then they try... See, when they try to push the envelope too far, like they did with this little kid movie, and they got people all riled, then they know, okay, that's as far as we can go right now. Let's give it another ten years. And in 10 years, they'll have films with horses being fucked by, you know, people with carrots. And it'll just be, oh, that's just TV. Okay. They are just soften the shell a little bit. Every 10 or 20 years, it's just a little softer, a little softer, a little softer. Yeah. Huh? Well, and you know what's funny is hmm. that, um, what was that, um, Blockbuster. Oh, yeah. Blockbuster, Blockbuster was just doing absolutely amazing. You know, they'd renting movies out all over the place, and then Netflix came along, and Blockbuster went the way of the dinosaur. And so Netflix has gone, well, we made Blockbuster go away. Let's start pushing the envelope just a little uh, bit here. Uh. And as you push the envelope, you too shall go the way of the dinosaur. People get greedy. Because pe yeah. people will just go, okay, fine. You know, we, uh -huh. I'm done with. I mean, Netflix oh, yeah, pretty uh -huh. much pissed me off with a lot of the other shows that they had were. Huh? Why do you, I don't understand the gratuitous sex scenes. You know, you got a really good story going oh, here. Yeah. And, all of a, and then all of a sudden it cuts away to two people doing it. And mm. it's like. What the hell does that have to do with the storyline of this? I was matter, really enjoying this see? until you cut away to that. And it's now a matter it's like, of taste. Great. Soft porn in the middle of a really interesting story. Okay. I'm done with uh, this show. Uh, literally, uh, I do. I shut them off when it cuts away. Uh, if I, you know, if I wanted to see that, fine. Uh, but if I'm really enjoying a story uh, and then all of a sudden they cut into shit like that, it's like, okay. I'm done. I'm done. Well, then, then yeah. my next question to you is going to probably just make you all giddy. You ready? Huh? Go ahead. You, go ahead. Are you smoking? I think you should smoke through this one. This one's going to go, hey, Mary, check this out. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, right. maybe I'll have smoke, but I got my headphones on, so it'll keep it in my in my head. 
and I think that the country that I'm in, although they're being gentler and kinder, they're still going along with this fucking hoax, making it real, giving it that real look to the people that are afraid when they should just say, this is nonsense. Okay, But my question is, what do we have to show for all our sacrifices through this epidemic bullshit, pandemic? It's, it's a hoax. It's a fraud. And just just in itself, the, the numbers of death show you. They even had to pretend people died from it just to keep the thing cooking while they were shoving it up everybody's ass. And why? where is the resistance to this shit? I do not understand the willingness to comply to a bald-faced fucking story that you can disprove with a few books. See, and to me, when I see this stuff, it's like, okay. Mm -hmm. And... And I, I am not a Q aficionado by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> but I have, you know, I check it out. Once a week, I'll check it out and see if there's anything going on or whatever. But I do get a lot of the message that is that I get, you know, and, and this is granted going through the Graham's filter. But the message of some people, you cannot tell them. You cannot teach people some things, you, whether you got books oh, or right. talks oh, right. or any of that. You cannot teach it to them. They have to see it. They have to experience it. And so, you know, these people that say, well, the government wouldn't do that. <laughs> they wouldn't lie to <laughs> us. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't do something that wasn't for our own good. They wouldn't. The gover but the government likes us. They care about us. They 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 wouldn't they represent us. They represent you. How freaking insane is that when you put it like that? You're being represented. Because you can't present yourself. Someone else has to represent you. So this to me. And 2020, the whole year, I keep seeing all of these people going, oh, man, if 2020 was a drink or if 2020 was a this or if 2020 was that. And I keep saying, y'all are missing the lesson here. And maybe it's just my lesson and, and it's not for everyone else. But I keep seeing it and going, damn, I'm going to look back on this year and go 2020 hindsight. There's mm. a reason why they called it 2020 hindsight. <laughs> 2020 vision. Dude. <clears throat> well, that's Man. a coincidence. Nah, you're, you you're, know, that's going to leave a mark. Uh, you're reaching. Holy shit. People aren't going to forget that crap. And then I remember, wait a minute, attention span of a goldfish. Yeah. Okay. That's but, why it needs to keep getting drummed in people's faces. But what... But the rioting wasn't bad enough. Let's murder some people. Ooh, okay. Let's start some fires now. Those are the things that, as a collective, that we have to show for all the sacrifice for this fucked up pandemic nonsense. Because yeah. the pandemic came first, then the lockdowns, then they irritated everybody, and then they started this um, BLM rioting shit. So it's all, mm -hmm. it's just a, it's a script. Come on. Oh, but see, the <sighs> BLM rioting came after they had to yeah. release all of those yeah. prisoners from prison because of oh, well, yeah. COVID. I read about that. Because we can't have them being locked up in the COVID. We can't give them masks. We can't make them social distance. We've got to release them out to the general public. Yeah, right. And then Idiots. the rioting started. And then they're going, but he yeah. was just a he yeah. was just an innocent child. No, the son of a bitch was in prison for multiple rapes mm. and assaults. Mm. Oh, but he was just an innocent rioter. Mm. Free speech. No. Okay, what? Free speech mm -hmm. is only free. <laughs> yeah. If you're willing to pay the consequences of your actions or your words. Oh, yeah. But, you know, There's free, that. free don't mean what you think it means. It means you're free to say what you want, yeah. but you're not free to get away from the consequences of what you said. So, well. boy... I read earlier today that there's rumblings of a civil war between Antifa and the uh, Proud Boys. But that's only in one place, I think, right? Portland or Seattle? Or both. Uh, what, one one or two states. Maybe that's two states. <laughs> I'm 
Seattle's in Washington and Portland's in Oregon. So there's two steps. But they're only like 300 miles wide or up north to south. They're not very big um, states. And they're not big on population, but they sure got a a lot of shit going on in them. (laughs) Plus fires. Wow. Hmm. So anyway, I don't think that we have uh, here... What we've got to show for the... We didn't sacrifice anything. I think, if anything, Cert came out ahead so she doesn't have to travel to Copenhagen to work. She didn't work out the house. And that... Right. And, yeah, well, she did the traveling thing and she went, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, I could just go into the Copenhagen when I want to and not have to. It's a whole different world. Now, I remember from my commuter days, I'm not, you know... Just because I don't do yeah. it now doesn't mean I don't have a memory of doing it. <laughs> I'm not seeing that just yet. Soon. N- not yet. Not yeah. yet. But so the yes. the sac but see socially the only sacrifice I feel is I have to watch people wear masks that shouldn't, and you can't tell them they sh- that this is just off it's off the um, off the table. You can't do this, especially in a foreign language. So, <laughs> what a fucking problem to have, you know? Yeah. Because I, when I pass people by in the street, I look them in the freaking face. You know, if they look away, I don't push it, you know, but I'm not uh, adverse to eye contact. But with these fucking oh, yeah. masks, I don't even fucking want to see your face. Nah, I'm already there. That aggravated with it. Like, well, and it messes shit. with people's ability to read body language. Well, I don't know what it messes with with me, but it just it's uh it's like a uh like a light anger, you know, not where I'm gonna go yelling at anyone, but boy, you sure fucking want to. <laughs> you know, but common sense and decency prevail and you go, Wow, don't 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 hurt these people because they don't really know what they're fucking doing. They're just obeying they're obeying a a, a mandate. You know, so yes. so that people will get along better and not be fighting with each other. They're going to do this shit. Okay. But still, inside, I'm just cringing. <laughs> well, and see, part of me thinks that this is because people were getting to the point where they were not so afraid of other, mm-hmm. you know, as in those that that look differently, dress differently, think differently. I mean, yeah, you had your... your debates and your discussions and your debacles, if you will. But, you know, people were getting to where they were starting to get along. And so we had to we had to do this sneeches on the beaches thing of you have to have a mask upon dars. And those people without masks are are the bad ones. You know, so it, it, that was a little separation thing going on. And then to double up the ante a little bit, then they brought back the whole racism bullshit again because the race card quite frankly was overdrawn overdrawn during the dangleberry era and oh yeah they burned so, that shit out years ago they should oh, shut no, up yeah. it, get it over went yourself way over the yeah. limit and too many yeah. people so they had to kind of lay low on that so then they brought in the mask thing be afraid of other they're breathing and they're not breathing through a filter that's what the nose hairs are. That's a filter. Did you know that? Come on. The apparently not, Mary. Let's let's be pompous little dorks and just admit that average Joe doesn't know diddly shit. It's just the way it is. They weren't taught diddly shit. How are they supposed to understand diddly shit? It's alien to them. The answers are yeah. not in their story. Their Their story is push a button right now. Instant well, everything. I've watched it happen. I yeah, grew up through all this. It is instant everything, but yeah. it has been a very slow progression on this. And I think it all started way back with the polio, and then they come up with the polio vaccine. And polio is due to poisoning. It's not a disease that you catch. It is a dis-ease in the body. It is the body's reaction to an external poison. That's what polio is. So that's what any of these things are. But, oh, my God, we have polio. We have the flu, which, ooh, the Spanish flu, another one of those that's a misnomer. 
because Spain was the only one that didn't fall in line with everything else. I think this new one will probably be the Swedish flu by the time they get done kicking the Chinese around. But in any case, you know, the Spanish flu, when you actually dig into it and look at it, the first people that supposedly contracted it were the military that had come back. They'd survived the mustard gas and all the other fun shit, and they had to get inoculations either before they went or when they got back. And it was whatever shit they were being shot up with. And then, oh, let's inoculate the family because they're back from overseas. And then people start dropping like flies because they don't know what the hell the crap is that they're injecting into you, but they know it's going to do something. It'll do something. Well, that's, that's the same thing. That's why they have names like inhibitors. They yeah. they know exactly what they're doing. They're they're lying to you about their lack of knowledge, and that there is no answer to the question that they're pretending to answer. What they're doing is slowly poisoning us. Well, they're slowly poisoning us, and they're also convincing us that your immune system is inadequate. Your body cannot handle this stuff. Well, you know what? My Pay immune... no attention to the fact that your body was designed hmm. to repair itself oh, given yeah. the proper yeah. nutrients and exercise. You, you... No, no. Your immune system just can't handle this stuff. <laughs> we have to step in. Yeah. We have to fix well. things. Well, they cause the yeah. problem. Of course they have to fix it. Because your average yeah. Joe is not intelligent enough to understand that they're participating in their own problem. They, they're they victims of shit. Instead of, if I step four feet to the right, that truck coming at me will not hit me. See, they don't do that. They stand there and figure the truck will go around them. And then when it doesn't, they want to complain about, hey, I get hit by a truck. See, and that's the difference between life happening to you and for you. Because when it happens to you, you're the moron that stands there and the truck hits you. Apparently. When it happens for know. you, yeah. you learn, you make a cognitive connection that says, whoa, that's bigger than me, and it's moving a hell of a lot faster than me. And I'm thinking, mm, mm. you know, just thinking a little bit of physics and, and mm. things in motion and blah, blah, blah. I probably ought to move because mm. it's bigger than me. And that's <laughs> a mark. Yeah. <laughs> You know, wow. you might make a, bu a bug splat on their windshield, but mm. it will make an awful lot bigger splat of you. <laughs> so, wow. you know, happening for you is the ability to learn to step out of the way. Yeah, that's what I think. Whereas happening to you is a guy oh, hit yeah. me with this yeah. truck. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference that I stepped out right in, in front, front of him. Of it. It's yeah. his fault. Mm. No, dumbass. You stepped out right in front of him. Action, reaction happens deal with it wow and i think about when i was growing up teenager uh my old man would have just busted his busted my head where i was standing if i did half of the shit that i've seen people do out in public or what i have over the years you know not anymore because i live quiet now but when i was in the big city you name it i saw it and Jeremy says he likes to stand on train tracks with the train bearing down on him just to see if the train will swerve. No, it's not going to swerve. There you go, Grim. Squash. He's, he's a bad Squash. Ass. Yeah, you'd be a I... fucking Clinton statistic if you did that. Don't go all Hansel on us and tell us about shit you don't do. Grimmy, it's not time for you to Arkansas. Yeah, besides, the train will squash you like you bug. You know? Anyway. Or it will throw you many feet into the air, and you will be doing a Superman impersonation until oh. you get to that sudden stop. Yeah, probably. Well, I, mean, I know you know a lot about illness and disease and whatnot, but you know what? I got something else I wanted to ask you. Okay. And I'm going to use me, but I want you to hear the thing as I for yourself, okay. right? Okay. Okay. I like to express myself. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, obviously, because you, you join me on the damn radio as often as you can when, the, you know, when you're not busy doing important things. Yeah. But uh, I thought that might give you something to think about for a minute. You know, how do you, how do you express yourself either? And it, besides just, you know, like a, 
Besides words, there's other ways to do it. Words are just the most common probably thing that we probably go by, but other things are just as valuable. Like, remember the words, death stare? Words work great for radio and for internet kind of stuff. Yeah. But interpersonal, like face-to-face kind of conversations, yeah, body language is key. Because I could tell you one thing, and my body language is telling you something completely different. And you really need to pay attention to the body language because I'm probably blowing smoke up your ass. Hmm. Well, don't you think that when you speak to people, though, you, you vibrate? Okay, and we've we've been indoctrinated into this new uh, idea through Larry Woods about you know vibration frequency. He opened up a lot of doors, so I, I took some peaks, you know. Yeah. And I'm not so I'm I'm not so sure that you know like they chant at baseball games or churches, big groups of people, and I think the vibration shifts when the more people participate in it on a verbal level. Yeah. Like if if a thousand people said the same word at the same moment, all standing in a, like arms distance of each other, that would be loud. And I wonder what the vibration would be from all that. You know. <laughs> These kind of well, that's kind of how I express myself is through the the ideas that I come up with, and trying to find a way to ask them of other people that well that actually translate because sometimes they don't i work on it <laughs> you know the idea is not completely clear to me i just start blurting out words to see if i can't get it you know get it cooking and i thought oh i like to express myself and i thought boy mary should <laughs> that i wonder how many different ways do you do that cooking let's see uh, gardening, you do the you know you do the vegetables and shit. Yeah. And you're still physical. You got over the crash, right? Yeah. Are yeah. you are you like uh, as good, or are you just a little broken? Uh, no, I'm I'm healed. I'm I mean I'm still well. Congratulations. Back into the swing of things, yeah. but I'm yeah. healed. Good, 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 good. I wasn't positive on that one. But feeling better is one thing, but being healed back to where you started is quite another thing. But anyway, you expressed yourself through your <laughs> through your family too, I suppose, your kids and your and your brothers and your sisters and whatnot. Yeah. Hmm. But see, words. Uh, How do you put words to shit like that? Uh, you know. I don't know. It's kind of strikes me as an abstract thought. So that you know, you know, so I know. Whoops, should have thought that one through a little bit more clearly. But it was one of those. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Superman moments. You know, like this Corona thing with the lockdowns and the mask, and the, you know, it starts. It's a bird. And then, no, wait, it's a plane. No, no, wait, wait, it's <laughs> and. Everybody got screwed. It's like, wait a minute. How does this work? I think because the rich people understand living on credit better than the guy that lives on uh, fiat currency. Yeah. Is part of it, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm responding to the chat. Oh, were you? Let me look at the chat. Uh, Because I keep notes through the show so we can... Well, right we up were, what we were garbage in about. We were talking about a certain song. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. Wait. David Allen Coe, blah, 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 blah. Blackfoot, train. I, wait I, I a like minute. Blackfoot. What? Wait a minute, she what said. hell, Vanna White? Okay. Oh, I didn't do... Wait oh. a minute. Oh. I didn't do... <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't copy to paste it. I still had the paste from from my Twitter link. Oh, so you oh, put up you the go. wrong one. Ah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. You don't confuse Yeah, it me. was it was me, Graham. It wasn't the bot. It was me. It's like, what the hell? What the? Wait a minute. That's not. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> Something else. I know. It's, it's the computer thing. 
because it's a whole <laughs> different kind of language. If I ain't pushing the wrong button, mm. I'm not pushing the right button. It's ah. you know, one of them there things. So. Okay. Well, as long as you accomplished your mission there, Bosco. Yeah. So I'll hang around as long as you will. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Well, we used to sing that all the time. So Obviously. But have you noticed that, uh, hmm, uh, let me th- find it here. What? What? Uh, what? 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 Oh, have you noticed that admitting there is nothing new is tough? For people, well, see, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know that I really believe that anymore. Mm-hmm. I used to think that there was nothing new under mm-hmm. the sun, and yet, mm-hmm. when when you experience something that has occurred before, but you get to experience it for the first time, then your experience mm-hmm. is a new experience. Mm-hmm. So, it has to do with your perspective or your perception of, th- of how things yeah i found yeah, a pessimist things, then. things have happened over and over and over and over and over again yes i i will agree to that and yet what? everyone has to experience it themselves so it is something new to them so it depends on how you look at it yeah. there is yeah. nothing new under the sun nah. and yet there are new perspectives or new experiences because you may not have experienced that yet, at least not from your unique perspective. So maybe it's like listening to the same song over and over and over again, mm-hmm. you know, like elevator music kind of shit, and each person that gets into the elevator, it's the first time they've heard that song. <laughs> you know, and depending on who gets into the elevator with him, that's what marks how they remember that song. So the next time they get in the elevator, oh, I remember this song. Wait a minute. There was a nasty guy that had gas right beside me last time. I. So they have a bad connection to that experience, whereas someone else is like, hey, baby, and they wound up getting a date out of the deal. So I, hmm. okay. I, I'm well, kinda... I, I left out. Then See, when you opened it up that broadly, then uh-huh. then my statement would change a little bit, and it would be more like, Admitting there is nothing new is tough for me because I am in such a limited environment. See? So my my world shrank a lot when I got out of the city. So I've got uh, a lot of choices. I mean there's a bunch of different roads to walk and I mean I'm not I'm not like in the middle of nowhere. But there's not enough people here to really notice any change. You know, something, I don't know, I haven't seen anything new that I haven't seen before. What, old cars? No. I've seen old cars before. So, I maybe I'm missing what exactly would qualify, you know, as something new. Hmm. Hmm. Well, and, and once again, that depends on... The perspective. Because a UFO? Every morning when I step outside with my dogs, I see something new. If I saw a UFO, that would be new. I never seen a UFO before, but I want really? to. No, not yet. But man, <clears throat> any aliens out there? I'm I'm here. Come get me. <laughs> and and you know what? I would probably be their favorite pet. The aliens come and attack us and shit. I'd go, hey, fuckers. <laughs> Let's play some chess. Okay. There you go. Well, yeah, seen... I, I hear all these horrible things on the Internet, Mary, but I live such a peaceful life, and I get along with everybody I physically encounter. You know, if there isn't, it's at the very worst, I walk by, walk by somebody that doesn't want to know me. That is not a problem where I'm from. <laughs> Yeah. See that that's a luxury because less people that you have to deal with, more time you have for your selfish shit that you want to do. <laughs> uh oh. What? Grim says you just you just moved your number to the front of the line. I did. They're gonna come probe you. Who? Oh yeah, the aliens. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'd probably even go. Well, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, but go ahead, fuckers. Because aliens. Yeah. I mean, can you? Im- 
that is such a huge idea to me. It's not it, it's not like looking at the moon. I can see the fucking moon. I've never seen an alien except in a movie. Hmm. Well, I have never technically seen an alien that I know of. I mean, I've had people tell me, you know, they walk among us. Really? Well, I I have met a few people that I thought, dude, seriously, you are not from here, are you? (laughs) 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 But I've never actually knowingly seen an alien, but I have seen UFOs before. Have you? And I've sat out in the yard and watched them. Yeah. Well, I don't doubt that there's something out there in the sky, but I don't think it's uh, from another world. I think it's from this world. This world is playing tricks on this world. Oh, see, and I think it's I think it's multiple. I think it's not just mm. our world messing with us. You know, mm. somebody who's pulling the strings and mm. having a good time messing with the <laughs> hicks and um, you know those dirty breathers. And I also think that there's other. I don't know that they're. I think they're off world per se. Mm. And yet, I think they're other dimensional, which technically is off world. I don't so. know, is it? See, techni- I'm not a scientist like that. I don't know. I could only make an assumption or a guess at this moment. But, you know, I got friends that I could ask. <laughs> See, I, I learned that from. I'm sort of of a mind that outer space, any, anything outside of the Earth's atmosphere is water. I oh, really yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't even care. I have enough trouble just trying to, you know, exist in this reality I've got without worrying about outer space and planets and sh- what the fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to watch a movie about it, but I mean, to pursue that in any form of reality would, to me, be a waste of my time. I'd rather draw or paint something. And anyway. To pursue the academia was against my nature in the long run. When I look back, how I see it. I wasn't incapable of learning. I was incapable of being forced um, a lot of bullshit down my throat that didn't work out. (laughs) Yeah, it was more of a you were incapable of being taught bullshit. Yeah, yeah, because my parental units, they were the type to... Be honest in front of me. Yeah. You tell me when I was really little, telling me there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> You're going to hear about Santa Claus, but no, your father is Santa Claus. I went, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, and the way we handled that with our kids mm-hmm. was um, everybody is Santa's helper. <laughs> and See. they kind of went, what? And I said, well, you know, Santa really doesn't do it all in one night. Santa (laughs) needs helpers. And it was basically teaching the kids that, you know, sometimes giving anonymously is more fun than saying, yeah, I got that for you. It's, It's fun to give things anonymously, not expecting a thank you, not expecting you know, a hug or any any kind of acknowledgement that you gave it to them. Mm. It's an anonymous gift. Mm. So that that was kind of the way, or at least the way I tried to teach the kids was, there's nothing, mom and dad buy you stuff, and mm. then, you know, there's stuff that shows up that odds are dad bought it. <laughs> uh, but he said, let's uh. do it as Santa Claus. Okay, whatever. Hmm. So I just explained to the kids, it's an anonymous gift. Hmm. You can think it's from Santa Claus or you can know it's from Dad. Either way, but... Yeah, see, I don't I don't have any memory of ever not knowing that Santa Claus was a made-up story. In my childhood, I had Christmases. My, my mother's Jewish, but the father's Catholic. and Well, he didn't practice his religion either, but they, you know... The the society we grew up in, everybody did it, so we did it too. And uh, over the years, things have changed. People get all stupid about the most ridiculous things. 
Yeah. You know, you, your Senate has got fucking Jews in it, <laughs> holding Jewish citizenship, fucking up America, and people are more concerned about Trump or Biden. <laughs> Don't matter. You got Jews in the Senate and the Congress, people running shit, <laughs> where the power's really at. Not that mouthpiece crap that they sent Trump around to do. Confuse everybody. Tell them both sides of the story. They'll love it. And what does he do? <laughs> he is a good distraction. Right, exactly. Oh, come on, it couldn't be any better. Joe Biden's going to be so boring compared to Trump. Oh, it'd be such a Joe drag. Biden won't ever be POTUS. Yeah, he will. Sure he no, will. No, he won't. Want to bet? I bet you. Nope. I bet you nope, he's dollar. <laughs> he's nope. He's a oh yeah horse. for the something is, something uh, is going to happen to where yeah the girl going to be it's, able to fulfill the, the okay. duties of the office and so therefore he is going to be replaced. So no, he will never be POTUS. Well, sure. And then that Camilla girl will take over after they shoot him. Because that's probably who they yeah. really want in there. This woman's evil. Ooh. She's a nut job. Good. Oh, damn sure. Man, do you serve a fucking milkshake with that hamburger? I mean, <whistles> crazy. Hmm? My thoughts are, you know, we uh. had Clinton, who was getting BJ's in the Oval Office. So does that mm, mean that the she's right going to be giving them in the Oval Office? What difference? A, a serious yeah, question. What difference does that make at this point? Well, you know th because that some, somebody's getting blown. Yeah. And and really, it's just a suck job. And yeah. <laughs> okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, when adults play, right? This is this is where uh, privacy and individuality got kind of jaded. Because it's justified by, well, we caught this guy doing this, that, and the other thing. Well, who's we that caught the guy doing it? And where is the proof? All it is now is just tell somebody something, and the next thing you know, you're, everybody's wearing a mask because you're going to die of the COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as as unbelievable as that line should be in 2020 with all these brilliant people with fucking cell phones... And they're too ignorant to follow and read a few things and go, hey, wait a minute, this is wrong. You can't get a fucking virus like this. What kind of shit are they telling us? But that's not what we get. We get compliance. We get compliance because this is just the latest um, result. Hey, duh. Have a good one. Those lungs are getting thirsty. I was responding. Ah, Sorry, Mary. Later, I, duh. No, that's okay. But, uh, it's just... This is just out the out. latest result. Mm -hmm. Have know, we got a result? I mean, I well, result. every day is a new result. Oh, oh yeah, that. <laughs> or it's just the way so, it works. Okay, what about all right? What about a continuation or a string? Because well, yeah, me and Cirque have had a tense moment or two over the time that we've been together, but we're still together. So yeah, eh. but I mean, people, they they. Want to give the other guy the impression they live on this fucking flat line that doesn't have anything going on in it, or that they're living in a mansion and drive a Cadillac and all that kind of happy ass shit. That really doesn't matter. But it, you know, it, we've been conditioned to be impressed by ooh status and stuff, and that's what I think of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, I got two two kid things today happened. Ready? I went to go get my shampoo and my vitamin C at this uh, girly place, basically, right? And there's a family in front of me, and a little girl has a cape on. <laughs> and it just tickled me. Well, she's like five, maybe four or five years old. And uh, and the, me and the dad were talking about, yeah, she still likes to dress up and come out. And I said, it's good for him to behave that way. And so me and her dad are agreeing about how he's raising her, his kid. In the store, in English, on top of it all. So, cool. Well, I thought it, people could, you know, they could be mean, but they never are. They're always real friendly, and you know, if you, if you show them a little interest, they, they at least acknowledge you. You know, we didn't go out to have dinner or anything. I just was 
few passing words in a waiting in line in a store to make the time go by. So we still yeah. have yeah, well, in the big city those things died years ago. And then look now they got violence and freaking what's that uh Antifa and the uh Proud Boys B L oh, and B L M and Yeah, bl- the believe like me crowd. The football players don't want to play, and the basketball players don't. I mean, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what kind of world did we end up with here? <laughs> A world of our own making, sadly, because we are co-creators. Well, I'm not for the big global things in the first place. Okay. Well, I'm not for the big global things either, but, you know, we've got all of these souls hmm. inhabiting this reality, and... and yeah. Sometimes we get overridden because mm. it depends on the mass. You know, the the most attention goes where. That's where things get steered. I don't know. Do you ever consider yourself a taker or are you always the giver? Well, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm a balance of it. Oh, okay, yeah. Some people don't, yeah, they don't, they don't see that. I see it. Little take, little give, little take, you know, twenty percent off. <clears throat> yeah. Just well, if you if you do nothing but take, you eventually have no friends. Mm. That's just the way it works. You might have Klingons that are just hanging around. There's little turds hanging around you, you asshole. Wow. Because they, mm. well, seriously, takers. That's what they are. They're assholes. Oh, 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 oh. And so you know mm. they have all these little Klingons hanging around because they're trying to get the scraps. Mm. Yeah, these okay. people usually work for banks. By the way, you know, and sadly, the real estate people that I've known in my life weren't concerned uh, about how the the banking was done. Didn't interest them. They were about the houses and selling. It. They were it was so detached from understanding the money, just counting the money. <laughs> Where it comes from, don't give a fuck about any of that. Just how much do I get? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I started out there at one point. I was like, how much is in, you know, how much for me? And then somewhere things changed. I went, wait a minute. <laughs> this is not fair. And I was on the winning side of the this is not fair, and I felt bad. So, I learned a lesson, you know, apparently, because I went, wow. And, and and following that that period of time, I met a guy later on that would give me these words of advice. I, I try to follow it. He says, boy, never do anything for money that you're not willing to do for free. Yup. Well, it's hard to live up to that because there's been a shitload of times where I've done things for money I wouldn't have done for free. But then there's a shitload of times I've done things for free that I turned down the money or I made it clear in the first place, I don't want money for that. But I'll do that. But any kind of compensation for it would have cheapened the, the point of doing it. So, no. And I'm not talking about a day's work and shit like that. I'm talking about, you know, favors and deals that you do for people. Little things. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. It's the little things that matter. Well, yeah, but see, I'm Jewish, too. And, you know, if if you've got a product you could sell for $30, but you can sell more of them if you sell them for $25. But in the long run, you're not really going to make any more or less money. So it's more work in the long run to sell it cheaper than it is for a, a higher price. <laughs> it's a... And it's weird how this works out, I, or maybe it's just my again my perspective on it because I'm a basically a taker. I'm not a big giver. I don't think I'm not stingy See, and, and tight, was... but I'm not. I don't go grab people out and give them things <laughs> like you. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I I just you know I'm a sharer. Yeah, I'm you're sharing. way different than. See, I think a circle. First, foremost, I think a Cirque. And then after that, it's me, as far as stuff. And then after yeah. that, it's fuck you. <laughs> Nobody. Don't care. Don't give me a, don't give a shit. It's all drama and credit and pretend and let's have fun in the first place. 
But what people didn't understand the way they grew up is that you can find ways to earn money that are a lot of fun. <laughs> I had lots of jobs that were fucking blast to go to work. And the people I work with, it was like what we were doing was hardly anything compared to hanging out with that crazy fucker was a blast. <laughs> so, yeah. well, that's the kind of life I've got. But yeah. other people spent you know the, a lifetime trying to um, get a pension someday. Like Circle. Circle's been where she's at. Mm -hmm. Me, I traveled and diddled and piddled and <laughs> you name it, I did it. Yeah. Right. But now now I'm settled. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> what a weird life. You know, life. some people, it takes them a little bit longer to, to settle down. Mm. Just settle down. Just mm. settle down. See? Mm. And I heard my dad. Well, you just settle down. <laughs> so. My mom used whatever. to tell me until I was in my 50s. She says, ah, you're just a late bloomer. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I met Cirque, and I and went, holy shit, because I didn't expect any of that. <laughs> anyway, so life anyway. is just, wow, I I went to Denmark to meet somebody, and here, you know, here I am on the radio, it's like six and a half years later. So. Oh, yeah. Shit. Well, and it every was time a, I talk to mom about you guys, mm -hmm. you know, she'll go, I just, I can't believe... Mm -hmm. You know someone in Denmark, and you do radio. And I said, yeah, Mom, and the craziest thing is he's actually from L.A. <laughs> now he's yeah. In... Yeah. Really? <laughs> but, yeah. You know, yeah. I can wait a half hour and tell her the same story, and she'd be uh, going, really? Uh, oh, well. <laughs> so. I, I don't I, – I'm not after – I was watching Deke Jackson, and I was reminded by Deke Jackson of why I do the radio. Oh, yeah? Why yeah. is that? Because I fucking want to. Oh, there you go. And sometimes, not always, but every now and again, I think I got something uh, qualified to leave behind as a comment or a statement or a, a story or something. And other times, it's just my opinion about this, that, or the other. Whoop, whoop. But we have all these tools, technology. It took me a little. I always remember how bad I was at this in the beginning. I was n always nervous about it. It made me feel um, weird. Hmm. You don't remember how hard it was? It took me forever to get over this radio jitter shit. Whatever that was. Yeah. yeah but I had well, it for a long time. Yeah. I remember being somewhat... Well, I know. My first hmm. probably year, I was like, really, I cannot believe people are listening to me. What the uh, heck? <laughs> But that was also back when I was trying to do two hours. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, which it is fun, and I look back on it fondly. Mm -hmm. But, wow, you know, always that, that half an hour just before it's like, oh, man, what the hell am I going to talk about? How in the hell am I going to – I got to make this entertaining, too. I don't want to bitch too much. Ay, 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 and all this shit. And then as soon as I <laughs> click play, it's like I went in autopilot mode. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, I don't think I and go I, to any kind of autopilot. No, I'm I'm self-propelled. Well, yeah. and I I know I did cuz there there were times where I would listen to it later. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't because I intentionally set out to listen to it for the most part. It was just uh, eh, let's click and see and and then it was like, "Holy shit, did I really say that?" Mm -hmm. Damn, I kind of sort of went off on a tangent cuz it was just you know, like a stream of consciousness uh -huh. kind of thing just once it started, it just fell out of my mouth. No break, no clutch, no, just went. So there are times when I look back and go, wow, and people listened. <laughs> well, over the years, though, I mean, you you put out a lot of good information, so. Eh. Well, life is whatever it is, I suppose. Yeah. It is what it is, and and a lot, of, and you know some of the things that I have been listening to lately. It's like I really do honestly think that mm. that the universe seeds ideas, and oh. every, uh -huh. you know everybody gets the ideas. Certain people actually you know kind of connect to it, mm. and then other people actually act on it, and it 
gets exponentially smaller as you go to groups. And I was one of those that it was like, oh, let's just go with it. <laughs> let's wing it here. So hmm. I don't know. I didn't actually go out and, you know, construct any well, I do, but not anything on a massive scale, not like a lot of people. But yeah, I I get an idea, I run with it. Hey Thank Beetle. You know. Just saw Beetle in the chat. Yeah, Beetle's back from mm. Wiken. He's all Karen in and everything. Oh <clears throat> Yeah, this is Karen Growl. So, you know, I think I think that the Karen should have a, a male equivalent and we should call it them Warren. Warren? Yeah, so when, when a guy's acting like a Karen, we'll just call him Warren instead of Karen. <laughs> that way we can separate the genders the way they're so fucking supposed to be separated, according to my book. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's two genders. That's and right. You, and you, Everybody and else can get the, the fuck day, away from some me. Some gal talking about how, you know, gender is fluid and blah, 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 blah. Hmm? But we're going to have a gender well, reveal wait party. Wait a minute. How okay. do you have a gender reveal party if gender is fluid? Wait a minute. But, see, you're judging other people's shit using your information. So, you're going to come to these conclusions because I come from that time period. I understand what you're saying. But... Society changed while we were doing our 20s. The new people coming in were getting different information than we did. So it changed everything. Yeah. You know, and about every 20 years, there's a big shift in society. And here we are, 19. It was a little early, the COVID thing. But you know, we had 9-11 in 2001, and now they got the COVID thing going on. And these idiots are talking about doing the most monstrous shit to people. And the population isn't putting their thumb up and going, Hey, you want this in your fucking eye? Come near me, fucker. Most of them are compliant. And if anything, they go all caring on you. Why aren't you doing what I'm doing? Hey, why don't you take a fucking long walk up a short pier? <laughs> Here, I'll push you. And, <laughs> oh, I'd be... If I was in America, I would probably not be alive right now. And see, the universe huh? knew that you needed to be in Denmark. During Somewhere, all yeah, away from the city. Fuck, if I was in Copenhagen, I'd get in fights. Because no, I'm wearing no fucking mask. What are you, stupid? <laughs> you have to be an idiot. Well, you, either you're doing it because you're complying, and if you're not, you're complying because you don't know any better. So... Hmm. There's two p kinds of people out there, and you can't judge that by the mask. It's impossible. It's a fucking terrible thing. Hate it. Yeah. And I still, and my mother said it perfect last week. I had to take her out to the bank. She just had to go to the bank. Hmm. And um, <clears throat> I don't know why, because she thought she didn't have any cash. And then when we got to the bank, it's like, oh, I do have cash. In any case. As we're getting ready to go into the bank, I said, Mom, don't forget to put your mask on. And she started giggling. And I looked at her and she said, I can't believe they're telling people to wear a mask to go into the bank. <laughs> 89 <Yeah>. years old. <laughs> dementia issues. <laughs> and even she sees the stupidity. <laughs> yes, dear. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Priceless. And now it's common. I've, I've harped about that on the dork table over the years. It's, they just pound the shit out of something until it's common. Until you you either you give up and you just done arguing about it and you just look the fuck away because it's not leaving. It ain't going anywhere soon, so you might as well just avoid it. <laughs> well, it's one of those things where once it got out there hmm. it's it's gonna it's gotta it's gotta play the course. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, I live in the physical you know, I, I don't have this mental, we're all connected, America, Australia, Canada. Sh I know the names and all that kind of crap, right? Mm -hmm. But when I think in terms of living, I don't, con I don't, I don't involve them in my life. They're, they're another place, somewhere far away, where I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Now, you call it the universe. I, I don't know. I have no idea. 
how this all happened. <laughs> it just, but it keeps happening. And the more I'm here, the more welcome I've been treated. And the only thing I have to complain about is I feel bad and don't want to hurt people's feelings by showing them anger because they're wearing a fucking mask. Cause I, I, but I'll never accept this mask then. Yeah. No, no fucking... I, I'm i so old and set in my fucking ways. Now, how are you going to train me to do that shit? I'm not a fucking poodle. I don't have a job to to, uh, to use as a justification, you know, to play this stupid game in the first place. So, to play the game, I'd have to be a complete fucking hypocrite. Ugh. Wow, what a dilemma to have. See, and, and I... Kate just shared something mm. about, you know, wow. a bank robber wearing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and okay. I'm thinking, okay, so if I didn't want to wear a mask, but I had to have some kind of facial covering, I wonder if they would have a problem if I walked into a bank with, like, a pantyhose. <laughs> It's a facial covering. Oh, God. I hope you would try that. Remember that kid got shot in your state? Remember that kid that your yeah, daughter yeah. grew up with? It, it actually in my hometown. Yeah. Yes. So, mm, you know. Yeah, I don't want to push my luck down. Please, Mary. Well, your antics are world-renowned, dear. I, I, I live <laughs> here, and I know a few things that you, you've mentioned over the years. And let's just hope for the sake of longevity that some of these things are in your past. Yes. Yeah. I call it maturing. It's a, it's a sort of a selling out to live longer, you know? And it, without the partnership, I don't think the some of the concerns wouldn't that I have wouldn't be there. So, huh. yeah. Yeah. If there's any compromise in me, it's because I'm married Cirque and, you know, don't want to fuck that up. <laughs> but I still, jeez, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm comp- compromising with anybody. But I might be. But I'm not aware of you it. Might. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be a hypocrite talking about this stuff. This is some deep stuff we talked about here, little missy. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, well, you can have a, a, an opinion about it one year, and then yeah. next year your mind changes, and you see it different. So. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I can, I can have know? a very solid opinion about something, and then within five minutes see something else that makes me go, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe. Look, look, over here. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. Oh, you're the yeah. queen of squirrel. I'm telling yeah. you. And I, speaking of squirrel, never. Yeah. Uh, Duh was talking about, you know, with Ryan's uh-huh. room and stuff. And I said you want to wear your panties because you don't want to get slivers in your playground. But <clears throat> moving along, uh-huh. he said that they used to rub uh, wormwood on brooms. And uh, they had wormwood is a main ingredient in absinthe. And then he posted this picture of liquid absinthe. And, you know, the first thing, and i got to tell you, first thing that ran through my mind was beats the hell out of soak and a tampon in vodka. And I I actually wow. know of some people that tried that because um. they thought, oh, this way I can get high without testing high, you know, someone smelling my breath to see if I smell drunk or something like that. Wow. No, your cooch is drunk. But Ow. Yeah, it's still, I would think, oh my God, soaking a tampon in vodka, that, I would think that would Whoa, burn like Yeah, well, up. I don't know, but I'm not going to ask Dirk to try it to find out. I mean, those things aren't pleasant to no. use to start with. Can I take your word for this one and not have to research you, this? You sure can. I don't want to research can. this one. <laughs> Mary, help, you, help. <laughs> you don't want personal experience in this. And no. I'm thinking, you know, if a guy wanted no. to try that, up the old oh, way would wow. not be. <laughs> Woo! That, yeah. The cold mm. bean dip enema. <laughs> I swear. That that's definitely one of those things where you go. I'm glad you tried that because now I don't have to have that on my bucket list at Here's all. Bucket. Not that it was ever considered, but you just removed it from my bucket list. Thank you very much. Wow. So, whoo! Yeah, there's. It's kind of like the dead cat thing. Mm. 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 There are people out there that will try anything once, you know, just like mushrooms. They're all edible once. <laughs> well, that's not once. how that. Okay, but that that's not how that works. 
Well, okay, skydiving without a parachute. You can do it once, maybe twice if you bounce good, if you're a bumble. <laughs> That's but... not skydiving, though. Well. You can't sky. I... Technically, you can't skydive without a parachute. You can be thrown out of a plane without a parachute, but you can't. See, my father and my brother did that shit on the weekends when I was a teenager. Ah. As soon as my brother turned 16, he was going to Elsinore every freaking weekend with my dad, jumping out of these freaking moving planes. I thought they were nuts myself. I thought, why would you jump out of a perfectly good airplane? See, that's my thought. Well, and they, Wayne wants to go skydiving, and I said, not till your insurance paid up. <laughs> well, they, they got me to go up in the plane with a chute on, just in case I fell out the plane. But I didn't want to jump out of it. The chute was just in case the plane didn't land. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not afraid of heights and all that kind of stuff. I just don't. Nah, I don't want to do that. You know, there's you just mean, some I'm things. I'm not afraid of heights. Right, I just right. don't like them. They make yeah. me very weavy. Oh, no. Nah. You know, and just the thought of the sudden stop at the end if <laughs> I were to like lose my balance. Eh, no, I'm good. Sky I'm good. Diving. I could think of ten other things that are less violent <laughs> than skydiving. Yeah, well, yeah. And then but, I think it takes a certain kind of mind to want to do that, and I'm related to two of them, and wow, <laughs> no, I'll pass. I don't want to be like that. <clears throat> Grim says he's not afraid of heights. He's afraid of the ground. Yeah, that ground oh, is yes. pretty solid. Oh, yeah, I've, I've landed on it from lower elevations, like, you know, just tripping and splat. And yeah. no, I don't care to try it from a higher elevation because I, I know what it feels like at, you know, from lower. Well, remember the, remember the high dive at the public swimming pool. Oh, yeah. And if you don't, if dive, you don't right, dive just right, you hit that that water like cement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So you got And gotta, yet, yeah. I knew people that would do belly flops off the high dive, and I thought, wow. what the hell? Damn. What the? Ah, yeah. What the hell? Well, they know how to fall, I suppose. Well, yeah, because you know they'd get out of the water and their belly wasn't yeah. red or uh, nothing, bigger. and I I'd, oh. I'd still have the wind knocked out. Of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's but, okay. But you, when you were you go ahead and do that. When you were talking about the, the but the hitting water from that height. Damn. Yeah. It's like hitting concrete. It is. It is. I have dove off the high dive a few times in my younger days, and yeah, that was that was enough. Yep. And I actually did a one and a half off the high dive once, and and really? kind of sort of over rotated, and whee, man. See, that's, yeah, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's, there's always danger lurking, even in the most innocent of looking things, like diving off of a big piece of wood into water. <laughs> kind of crap. Do you know, human beings are the most ridiculous animals on the planet? Yes, we. We are. do the yes, weirdest. We you remember the bungee jumping craze? Oh, yeah. Fuck and sake. I saw a picture of someone that went bungee jumping, and they had white pants, and someone had gotten a picture, which I'm sure Ooh. they videoed and then cut that, stopped it on that little cell right there in the video, but, yeah. of you know, the shit stain going yeah. up the back. And I'm thinking, that. thank you for doing that, because now I, now I have a visual of what well, would probably happen if I tried that. Because... Remember that long explanation for gravity that people can't get their they can't wrap their mind around it to even agree on the definition. Well, that yeah. what you just described the the picture of this guy's pants goes with the explanation, so you got a visual. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I've had the argument with people. I don't I don't believe this the standard story the way it's told. I think there's more to it, but. I've had the guy go, oh, yeah, you don't believe in gravity, and, you know, knock you off the chair you're sitting on. You believe in it now? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. you and your fucking gravity ass. But <laughs> Okay, well, <clears throat> you know, you got to remember what, when you're little like me and you smart off to people, 
they don't give a fuck how big or small you are <laughs> when when what you said was you know sharp enough. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, it took me a few years. I was in my late 20s before I gave up being openly crude for no particular reason. Now I do it on the radio because there's no you know victim, yeah. no crime. I'm going to go with the color of law on that shit, baby. Watch me. <laughs> uh, have you had enough of this fucking law nonsense, Mary, or are you for it? Um, the only laws I'm for are natural laws. You know, like if you're going to put something out there, if you're going to do something, don't be surprised when it comes back at you. You mean there are enough laws for you already? Oh Lord, there were there were more than enough laws. Oh, why? Even when they came around, came out with the the yeah. uh, Ten Commandments, it's like, why do you have to have ten? Thou mm. shalt not steal. Mm. Don't steal someone's life, aka murder. Don't steal someone's stuff, a.k.a. theft. Mm. Don't steal someone's innocence, a.k.a. rape. Mm. Don't steal someone's uh, belief system, a.k.a. lying. Don't steal, you know, thou shalt not steal, period. Yes, that should cover it all. Yes, dear. So, because everything is, everything that you do mm. to someone else for nefarious purposes mm. is a form of theft. Yeah, but you know, as well as I do, George Carlin made jokes about that long ago, and they were um, the same principles. Just mm -hmm. to shorten the damn Ten Commandments down to two, cut out all the bullshit. Because that, that's what we we live in, this over-dramatic um, bullshit. It's, it's over the top. You know, it's easy to get people in one place to do stupid shit. But when you can get people to, in multiple places to do stupid shit, now that's some freaking power right there. Oh, yeah. Power and organization. I mean, crying out loud. You know what it it's would take... It's the underbelly of the information age. Do you, but what would it take for somebody to get a hold of me and convince me to go somewhere else and burn it down? Hmm. I can't even imagine... And well, I've got a very good imagination. Okay, but the, but the the way this has gone on and the way it's been ex expressed on the news and the internet webs, right? We're we're seeing these things unfold, and I don't think they're unfolding. I think people are purposely doing certain shit to incite certain kinds of people to follow them and do more other shit. And they even got damn names, BLM and. Antifa, and what's the other one? Uh, Proud Boys. So whenever you've got organized groups like this that are, you know, fighting, we well, got shit going on. <laughs> well, and I think some of that is because there is comfort in in groups. You know, there is safety in groups mm -hmm. to a point. Okay. Well, where I'm going at is some people will claim these things are happening because the laws weren't written to stop them. And other people, like me, will say these things are happening because you write all these fucking laws. And because people think, well, if there's if it's not there's not a law against it, I guess I can do it. <laughs> As opposed to having just a wee bit of common sense <laughs> and going, wow, you know, do I want that done to me? Hmm, no, well, I better not do that to somebody else. Well, don't underestimate the, le the illegal legal system that the Admiralty Court truly is. These fucking people are bought and paid for. Look at the decisions that these judges make and who they favor and follow the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, okay, but everybody talks a big shit game, and that's the end result of the United States. It's horrible. I mean, fuck. Get the Jews out of your Senate and your Congress, man. You guys are getting to get, you're going to end up in Palestine real quick. It's a common. Well, and everybody is still, and I've said it before. Yeah, I know. We, we everybody harp. says it's the the love of money or the pursuit of, you know, no. money is the root of all evil. And no. I don't think money is the root of all evil. It is the pursuit of money at any means possible that is the root of all evil. I must have money. I must blah, 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 blah. I'm willing to do whatever to get my money. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well. That's. 
some people do never they never progress beyond that they you know, they're stuck in it and they're quite happy with that decision they're not they're not victims of it they're that's what they want to do how do you grudge somebody for that i grew up in that too well i did too but i don't want no fucking part of it and it's one of those things where huh. i think each person eventually hopefully gets mm-hmm. to that point where it's like no this just ain't working for me uh-huh. nah nah i ain't no i can't do that 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 just don't feel right i'm not going there ouch okay mm-hmm. you know and, and there are lots of people and i'd listen to what was it dolores cannon she apparently does uh did because she passed in 2014 But she used to do hypnotherapy and regression of people to past lives and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she said that that what she is finding in her 40 years of doing this was that um, you experience here in this earth realm, which is supposedly the hardest place to be, and lots of other civilizations out there don't want to come here because it's too freaking hard. Because it's too dense, and I can attest to that being an awful lot of dense people around. But in any case, wow. she said you have to you have to experience each aspect, even if it's being a rock or being the wind or whatever. You have to experience all these things in order to get the full. And and so part of me is like, wow, there's a lot of people that got an awful lot of experience to go yet, and then then there's times when I go. Am I done experiencing this shit? Can can I just, you know, this after this trip, can I just say I'm done now? Ha, am I close? <laughs> uh, is there a yeah, is there a test? Yeah, is there a test at the end? But, you know, a lot of people they just plain and if they don't get it and and one of the things that she said is if you don't do something that you set out to do in a certain lifetime because we all kind of set up lessons Apparently, which makes sense to me, you know, set up lessons that we want to learn throughout our life, this incarnation, then um, if you don't get a certain lesson, then you got to keep coming back until you get that lesson. <laughs> I admit to being a slow learner, <laughs> but I would just as soon not have to come back again. Wow. So. Are you kidding me? I'd yeah. do this over again in a heartbeat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting... I'm getting... Well, everything that happened to me to this moment in my life did not kill me. All the threats that could have killed me, there was a remedy for those. True. Okay. Yes. So, and I have to admit my track record so far for getting through shit is 100%. So, well... And yet, okay. Well, all right. I don't know that I want to come back for another round. Wow. I'm, I may want to I may want to take some time and go to Alpha Centauri or someplace like that and not not come back to this pretty little blue marble for a while. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see how this COVID ends. Well, this is still in this reality. So. It's the one I'm in. Yeah. The one I'm yeah. in has a, a rampant hoax going on that is going in the future. The results of the hoax, the death toll will be huge. And they'll blame it on something that it's truly not, but it'll be because they started the whole fucking thing in the first place. Oh, yeah. And that way they can maintain control Mm -hmm. and profit off, which basically is the poison for profit system. Just insane. I wouldn't, I'm not letting them stick me with no goo. No goo in lieu. Sorry, people. (laughs) Whoops. That shut everybody up. (laughs) Hey, how'd you do in Java? Yeah, I saw him come in. He said he got sentenced to the recliner. Well, because yeah, his hips I got, giving him. Tr- I, I understand was, that Java, because mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. after my wreck, I got sent to the recliner as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot. It was a lot easier for me to get out of. There's than, nothing to relieve the pain for that, though. I mean, damn. I figured he'd be up to his eyeballs and in information from the RLM crowd. If he's still having trouble. And you know, you guys are um, slacking. What? 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 My brother, just younger than me, is mm. doing. Um, he's going to have a rooster comb injection mm. in his knee, 
because he buggered up his knee like 38 years ago, and now it's really bothering him a bunch. Wow. And he really doesn't want to do the whole knee replacement thing if he doesn't have to, so he's getting rooster comb in- injection. And I looked that up, Uh-oh. and it is actually, you know, whatever is in a rooster's comb. No. That, yeah, there's some kind of components in there that <sighs> they have now synthesized. Yeah. <sighs> They inject it into the knee, and it's like a lubricant. And I said, so you haven't, like, researched how to rebuild your synovial fluid? And he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one of those Synovial topics. fluid is that fluid that's in between the bones in your joints that kind of helps cushion in there. Mm. So, oh. yeah. In any case... Sorry, I distracted. What's no, it? you go yeah. right ahead there, little medical guy. You know a lot of stuff. See? Well, I, th- I found it really fascinating. He was wanting to know if that was something that hmm. would work for mom's hip. But, you know, mom's hip is actually doing much better because I've been uh, putting yeah. a CBD oil blend on her lower back because yeah. she's also got inflammation that causes the sciatic to flare up. and Yeah, cutting and somebody so, up that... That's that old and expecting them to heal. Oh, man, that'd be brutal. Well, you know, Jeez. and part of it is she had a big old honker plantar wart that she went to a podi- podiatrist, and the podiatrist actually made the issue worse. Ooh. And so we've been doctoring the plantar's wart on, on the one foot that happens to be the same foot with the buggered up hip. And then she's got sciatica issues, and she doesn't want to go to the chiropractor to get adjusted. So it's like, okay, so we deal with the inflammation. Well, over the last couple of weeks of dealing with that, we've got the, the planter's wart healed up, and the sciatica, the inflammation is not so bad. And she's now walking really good and doesn't even, although we make her carry her walker, you know, just for in case she loses her balance or something, mm. but shit, she walks around just fine. Oh, okay. And, and we're also kind of... My brothers and I are working on, you know, dietary changes to help her body build synovial fluid in that hip joint so that it's not bone on bone. So, yeah, it's it's never an easy fix. It's never a just take this pill and call me in the morning bullshit. Mm. You know, your your hip didn't get that way overnight, <clears throat> and <clears throat> and so it's not going to get fixed overnight. So. Yeah, well, I've still got internal parts that you can, uh, when I press against my, my skin, you can feel these round, like, uh, I don't know, they're polished balls, almost. They put, they're connected to the mesh that they use to fix me. Mm-hmm. It's very strange. I'm like the bionic man, but really cheap, you know, not $6 million wow. worth, but, you know, hey, thank you, Circle, but, uh, you know, enough to... Enough to make it uh, weird, because <laughs> I've got parts in my body that are foreign. Yeah. I function any. I function with them like they've always been there. Well, the but only foreign particles my, I have in mine are in fillings yeah. in my teeth. Yeah. Thankfully, that's all I've got. But. Well, yeah, but they, they they uh, they creep circ out my. If to put when uh to put your hand against it, it's like weird because it's, it's man-made. Ah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. well, changes like that you adapt to them, I suppose. I adapted to it. Yeah. I and well, they didn't put something in me and say, "Well, this has got to be replaced in so many years. This was this is going to last me until you know I croak or something else." There you go. Well, you, go. you know that's the that's the idea that that uh, I got here. Anyway, but oh, I want to end the show with a little message to the uh, hardcore forty out there that care about what we think and why we think it and such. And that's this: dork lives matter. There you go. So yeah, if dork you're, lives matter. You know, if you're if you're out there and you're a closet dork and well, you don't like to talk about it, I understand. I keep that to myself as much as possible. But fellow dorks, they know I'm a dork. 
Yes, I carry a book around in my backpack when I go to the grocery or to the bar. <laughs> to this day, so keep oh. a book. <laughs> Never know when I might want to feel like read reading something. There you go. And sometimes I feel like it, and I look at a page, and they're, eh, I'm not in the mood to read. So, but like a like a Boy Scout, I'm a dork. I'm always prepared. Now ah. we're we're dorks, so we're not prepared for everything, but dorks are usually prepared for the selfish shit that makes them fucking smile. <laughs> and when we okay. smile, we make sure our friends smile too. Yes. We are not even if it's just being ever so thankful that they are not us. <laughs> well, maybe so, but we are not a selfish group. We're kind of like yeah. a non-existent group that if you put us all in the same building at the same time, you wouldn't understand the common link. It wouldn't be obvious. But uh, we all got it. <laughs> so, well, I, I go back to the, the being accused of what you did not do at some level of reality. is a, That's something that your dork will go through. Oh, or <clears throat> maybe an equivalent of that would be accused of cheating at something that you just sat down and could do it and never did it before. But they went, oh, you must have been doing this before. You're lying. See? Oh, uh, yeah. Dora, yeah. that's another dark twill. I just wanted to make clear we're, we're standing up. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Because you know what? I don't think the dorks give a shit. No. No, not really. I think we care about ourselves and the surroundings where we are, but on the bigger, grander scale, it's out of sight, out of mind, baby. You know, good luck. And I, I there you go. Well, I think there's a little bit of selfishness in the dork mind. The dork is a, a hmm. we're survivors. We survive shit that make other people complain and cry and. Jump off buildings, and here we are, <laughs> still moving, you know, still doing it. So, yeah, yeah. Well, well if you, any I don't of that, jump off buildings. <laughs> okay. Well, if and some people, some people will, and some people yes, have. Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, we well, we haven't lost any to the corona yet, so I'm you know I'm holding out. I I don't want to see any of my fellow dorks. Fall to the evil pandemic. There you go. There you go. Strength. You go. And I I had someone, well, I think right. it was over on mine, because yeah. I, I posted a Scooby-Doo video where they had um, <laughs> um, found who the evildoers were about this whole COVID thing. <laughs> and somebody over on Mines let me know that we don't know the long-range implications of this yet, that they've put HIV in the coronavirus and shit. Mm -hmm. Which I okay. I know you've got research. I know you've studied. I know that all all that other fun stuff. But hmm. HIV is is an immune supposedly an immunosuppressant virus kind of thing. Well, that comes from feeding your body toxic toxic stuff, exposing your body to toxic stuff that your immune system just plain cannot deal with, and therefore you become immunocompromised, kind of like with lupus. You know, that's a, your immune system is compromised. You need to build it back up again. But no, they put them on a pill instead. That, and maybe you got HIV now because you got the Rona. I don't know. Uh, mm, I'm not going down that fear porn alley. You sure? Just not. Why not? Because I just... Uh, Live a little. No. No. Okay. No, then don't. I do what I Oh, you do what you want. I don't tell you what well, to do. Well, I will live a little by trying not to take in things that will cause my immune system to be compromised. Well, so there you go. And, and again, that is fairly general. You know, what's bad for one is usually bad for all, yet there are exceptions. And yes. human beings are notorious for having a mortality rate through anything bad that happens. Nuclear freaking disaster, you're going to have people survive it somehow. So oh, yeah. they've underestimated us to sell us this magic fucking fizzle that, that's a flu. 
It's asinine. It's insulting. I, for one, am not impressed. But that's a show for us. You want to say goodbye, Alice? And thanks, everybody, that does hang with us. I appreciate that. Because I have fun yeah. yakking with my pal, Mary. <laughs> yeah, it is fun. Thanks it a lot, is Mary. Fun. And thank you all for listening in and playing along. And, and have an absolutely splendiferous rest of your weekend. And until we meet again, I'll see you in the funny papers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>